but get old fashioned lift session today. So we'll get through workout. Um, we got five sections. Uh, you can start on any one you want to, but our interval today is gonna be solely on our core focus. Okay, so we've got bicycle sit-ups for a set of 30. So we're going up, and opposite elbow goes to the opposite knee, but notice the difference between that and the bicycle crunch. Okay, we're not gonna stay down and just rotate. Okay, we're actually gonna sit up. So you gotta think like bicycle crunch and like a cherry bomb combined is kind of what that is. All right, um, so we're gonna start at the top and work our way down, but again, you can go in any order. So that lunge, squat, ladder we normally do, we're changing it to lunge, deadlift today. So you and your partner are gonna do it at the same time because you've got an asterisk, so don't take turns, just get a set and go two to 12 uh, without your breaks. Okay, so you're gonna hit uh, one lunge and then two lunges, and then you're going to have your feet a little more narrow, and you're going down for two deadlifts. Bring those dumbbells back around the side of the hips and squeeze your butt. Then you'll have four lunges, four deadlifts, six lunges, six deadlifts. Okay, we're going all the way up to 12 and 12. Next section. Okay, this one's gonna be a booger, okay? Get yourself a manageable kettlebell, just one enough that's challenging enough to keep you busy, okay? You don't need a super heavy one for this. We're just focusing on, on a little bit of a booty squeeze because you're trying to stay busy the whole time while your partner's doing play push, okay? Partner play push down and back, that's two. While you're swinging, then you switch. You'll do two, then you'll go down, back, down for three. While they're swinging, then you'll switch, and then you got down, back, down, back for four. All the while, your partner's hitting those kettle swings. Next section, we got back squats over there on the racks. Let's get kind of a moderate weight for that little first little warm-up set of 15. Okay, going underneath, uh, bars right across that top part of our shoulders. And we don't want it up here on our neck, guys. I've been seeing that lately. We want it just down where it goes right across that meaty part of your shoulders, okay? Uh, keeping your weight heavy and your heels, toes up. And we're going down for 15, okay? Then the next couple rounds, we got two sets of 10. So let's increase that weight a little bit, looking to really challenge ourselves, And then we really need to put, pick up the intensity on that weight for that set of five since the reps are cut in half. Um, next section, plank is the active rest. Do a little bit of core work while our partner's got weighted step up, okay? For this one, um, you can either do a bar or dumbbell. Dylan's gonna show you with both. Um, the biggest thing is we wanna make sure, cause it's easier with dumbbells to slouch with our posture so we don't wanna have our shoulders. That's pretty slouchy, but yeah, you get the idea. So we wanna keep everything upright, nice and tall. So this is gonna be 10 each. So when you step up, guys, notice that his other knee is coming through, okay? Um, there's a it's really easy to cut this movement short and not focus on your balance if you just kind of rapid fire um, your step ups. So we wanna actually come up, find our balance, knee comes all the way through the hole, and then we come back down, okay? Look, again, because we're working core, so that takes core strength to come through and bring that knee up and find your balance, all right? So 10 on each leg there, switch with your partner on the plank. Next section, we got boat hold. It's going to be the active rest. Uh, just trying to keep your heels off the ground and balancing on your butt. And then we've got bench curtsies each side. Um, again, you can use dumbbells or a bar. Uh, he'll show you with both. But you're going to get those little Reebok benches. We'll set them up. And you're going to go from side to side, going up and over that bench. So that would be one. And then over and back would be two. We want to keep just kind of a light tap on that toe that's going back and forth. We don't actually want to come and like stand our full weight. Okay, we're trying to keep our weight on the leg that's on the bench. Okay, so little short taps on both sides there. Um, any questions? All right, for your warm up, let's get. Uh, 